Good morning. Who among us here does not want to become great or become famous or be above everyone else? Who among us here does not want to be noticed or recognized? I bet most of us here want to become the first of all. In fact, when we were children, our parents would always tell us to excel in class so that we would receive recognition at the end of the school year. The same thing happens at work. You do your best to perform well so that your boss will recognize you and eventually promote you. We want greatness for ourselves. And there is nothing wrong with that. It is always good to aspire for greatness because that is what God wants for us. God does not want us to settle for less. In fact, He gave us many talents and gifts to use to achieve greatness. But wait, let us not forget what true greatness means. Let us not be deceived by our own understanding of greatness. Because according to our gospel today, true greatness does not consist in being first, nor in being famous nor in being above everyone. Rather, true greatness consists in serving others. True greatness consists in becoming the last of all and the servant of all. Now let me ask you once again, do you still want to become the greatest? Do you still want to become above everyone else? If so, then you must be willing to serve others. This is how Jesus embraced greatness. And as his disciples, we should do the same. You know, my dear friends, as a rogationist priest, I cannot help but think of Saint Hannibal Maria de Francia, the founder of our order, the Rogationist Congregation. Saint Hannibal was a diocesan priest, and right after his ordination, he asked permission from his bishop to live in the slum area called the Avignone Quarter, to be with the poor. As a promising young priest, he could have been assigned as a professor at the seminary or as a pastor in a large parish. But Saint Hannibal chose to live with the poor in the slums of Messina, Italy. Some of his contemporaries could not believe what he was doing. Sometimes they would laugh at him because they thought that he was crazy. But where are they now? What happened to those people who laughed at him or made fun of him? They are now dead and forgotten. We do not even know their names. But look at Saint Hannibal. He is now a saint. 
In fact, he is known as the patron saint of vocations and the father of the orphans and of the poor. If you go to Rome, you will see his huge statue outside St. Peter's Basilica. And this happened because he is remembered for his greatness. Greatness that comes from his humble and loving service to others. This is what the gospel is trying to teach us. If we want to become great in the eyes of God, we must learn to serve others. If for the world, greatness consists in being served or in being above everyone, for Jesus, true greatness consists in thinking less of ourselves and being available to others. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, let us try our best to pursue greatness that comes from service because that is the only greatness pleasing to the eyes of God. Amen.